Outlander Season 4, Episode 12 was filled with drama this week as the Star's time travel series started to build towards a conclusion. Here is our recap of the episode titled Providence ahead of next week's Outlander finale. Episode 12 of Outlander Season 4 aired on American Network Stars on Sunday, January 20th. Amazon Prime then dropped the penultimate installment from the series the following day, Monday, January 21st, for UK fans. The episode featured plenty of twists and turns as things started to come to a head for Brianna Fraser, played by Sophie Skelton, and her estranged lover Roger Wakefield, Richard Rankin. What happened in Outlander Season 4, Episode 12? Warning, this article contains spoilers from Outlander Season 4. Episode 12. Brianna. With Brianna and Lord John Gray, David Barry, now in an engagement of convenience, she was free to do as she pleased without having to worry about her great aunt Jocasta Cameron, Maria Doyle Kennedy, trying to marry her off like a prized heifer. Instead, Brianna convinced Lord John to go with her to see her rapist Stephen Bonnet, Ed Spillers, one last time before he was due to hang for a litany of crimes which didn't include her sexual assault. She confronted Bonnet in a heart-wrenching exchange in which she forgave him and told him about the child, suggesting that the child was his. Brianna made sure Bonnet knew the child would never know about him as she bid farewell to him. However, her words seemed to move Bonnet who gave her a gemstone, which had concealed in his mouth as part of his contingency plan to escape. As she left the prison, Brianna and Lord John ran into Fergus, Caesar Domoy, who was trying to break Murtaugh, Duncan Lacroix, out of jail. There was a tense moment between Fergus and Lord John but he let them continue with the plan unhindered and escorted Brianna out of the jail. Roger Roger was still hanging on in the Mohawk camp but after offending the Native Americans one too many times with his uncouth ways, the tribesmen threw him into a hut. There. He met a devout French priest called Alexander Ferry Gale, Yen to all, who revealed that he had broken his vows after falling in love with a Native American woman and fathering a child with her. Ferry Gale explained that he was being held captive and sentenced to death after he refused to baptize his own child because he had sinned. Despite Roger's best efforts to convince the priest otherwise, Ferry Gale refused to submit and continued to suffer before he dies. During his time with the Mohawk, Roger made friends with healer Johan, Sir Alice MacArthur, but sadly it was short-lived after he was tossed into the hut. Fergus Fergus and Marsley Fraser, Lauren Lyle, plotted to save Murtaugh and managed to get him out in time before the jail is blow up. Audiences were left unsure if Bonnet managed to escape from the prison after it went up in flames but there's been speculation that the villainous character may have survived and could return. In the Outlander novels ending Drums of Autumn, Bonnet does escape which suggests that the show could follow suit but is leaving it ambiguous at this stage. The couple were concerned and desperately in need of Jamie, Sam Hewen, and Claire Fraser, Katrina Balfe, who were busy trying to find Roger still in a race against time. As the episode drew to a close, there were hints that the couple would be rescuing the historian soon but time was running out.